Cause you know they went to Berkeley High I'm always with a cup of bourbon I'm in here choosing, you up here searching Yo, 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 welcome to the show everybody It's me, Ben, and welcome back to a brand new video Today, my friends XO is back at it with another album Today, we're reacting to Exist We have checked out Cream Soda Hear me out and let me in over on YouTube so we will not be needing to check those out at least today. Obviously, I'm going to be streaming the hell out of those myself uh, in my personal time. But in the meantime, for the sake of this album review, we're going to leave those off. Um, welcome in. Hopefully, y'all are having a great day so far, my friends. As always, whether you're watching over on Patreon or over on YouTube, please leave a like for me one time. Would appreciate that very, very much. And please, at some point before you leave today, let me know if you have a favorite B-side because I'm going to do my best to pick a favorite B-side when all is said and done so that I can let y'all know if I have a favorite. Um, as always, if you're watching over on YouTube, please be aware that the patrons get this video early and uncut. So if that's something you're interested in looking at um, potentially in the future, um, feel free to you know hit me up over there if you're interested. And if not, that's okay too. That's why I sometimes try to post album reviews on YouTube as well when I have the time, especially for bigger releases like EXO, right? Um, I do my best to also be able to put it up on YouTube just in case. Um, because I know not everyone is either interested in the Patreon or maybe it's possible that people can't afford it. So um, I understand that I do my best to sometimes try to get it out on YouTube as well. But let's hop into it, y'all. I'm very excited. I'm trying to just like wheel it in a little bit. I went off the rails in my cream soda reaction for obvious reasons. Um, I would imagine everyone felt that way about that music video, but uh, that's just the way that it went. Um, so I'm feeling very much like I just need to recenter a little bit. Um, but I don't think the guys are really gonna let me follow through with that. So regardless, let's hop into this album. We have a bunch of B-sides to check out for the first time. I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna shut my mouth now and click play. Let's get to it. This is XO, regret it. Three, two, one, click play. First B-side of the album. Side. I'm on your side, I'm on your side. Let's bring it, baby. Fun, off rip. Okay. That is so slight. That smoothness was unbelievable right there. That. I'm having feelings. Ooh, ah, chill out, Chen. Shut up. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That is so pretty, though. I feel like I'm on a different planet right now, bro. All right, they're in the chills. Okay, it didn't take long. It didn't take long, did it? This is a playlist ad. Yes. <laughs> chills. Okay. Listening to him go up there made me feel lightheaded. Hey man. As far as first B sides for an album go, Regret It is doing its job. That is absolutely lovely. Okay, skip it over here, me out, because we know that one private party is up next. Let's get it. This makes me want to make bad decisions. That sort of slide factor. Yep, this is good. Oh, this is real good. Yes, sir. Oh, with the best 
It wouldn't have been an EXO album without a little bit of the bed squeaking going on. I'm sorry. Keep it moving. That's banging, bro. That's banging. And this pre chorus feels so. What's the word for moody, but it's like in a good way? Like, it's. I don't know. It's vibey, I guess. I, don't know. I need to broaden my vocabulary. Play this in the club, see what happens. I haven't break danced since middle school. I'll whip it out one time. I'll whip out the break dance one time on the dance floor. I'll do it. I'll do it for XO. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is absolutely getting playlisted as well. Chills again. It happened. I'm sorry, the way they blended back in from bridge to final chorus right there was so unexpected and so fun. Cinderella's up next. All right into the build up, wow, okay. Kai, I love hearing your voice. Ooh, man, it's so deep. It almost feels a little distorted. Yes. Burby stamp of approval. This song bangs. This is a playlist. Oh, wow. Our vocalists are vocalizing. This might be the one. This, this might be the one. Yes, um, oh wow, okay, um, I'm having feelings, emotions, um, No Makeup is up next. This album is already a classic, I'm stamping it. Cheers to y'all, man. Whatever you got next to you, have a sip of it. Hydrate. Oh my god. I got a cheers to a song like this. I just. Oh. Harmony is going stupid. It's going stupid. <laughs> oh my god, this album is so good. You just you know if this were if this were any regular group, you'd hear pre-release tracks like Hear Me Out, Let Me In, you get to the title, it's cream soda, and you'd probably come to the rest of the album going, Alright, we've got six extra B-sides to check out. I hope they're good, but it's XO. So you don't gotta worry about that. You know they're gonna be fire. But I, that doesn't mean that you're ready for it, right? 
If you're an XOL, that doesn't mean that you're ready for it, because you're ready for it. You expect the absolute best from this group. But regardless, that doesn't mean that you're prepared. Chill with the high notes. I can't handle it. Chill, 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 chill. Don't play with me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm kind of like I don't even know if that's the right term, but I feel like I'm just like sort of slap happy right now. Like I don't even know what's going on. I'm just like so I'm so lost in the sauce that is all of these vocals and these sultry instrumentals that I'm just sort of sitting here just... Man, if it feels like I'm not commentating as much as maybe I normally would in an album review, I apologize. I'm just like so enveloped. Is that the word? I'm so like... Well, enthralled definitely is the word, but like I'm just so just... <sighs> Love Fool? Love Fool is up next. Let's get it. I, I already like it. <laughs> Pick up the pace. This is just fun, happy, enjoyable. Ooh. Ooh. Spit it in quick time then. Found that pocket so beautifully. It's not easy to wrap in the pocket like that, bro. You have to have the sauce. You have to already have it. Oh my God. One of my favorite bits of any sort of rap from any of our rappers in the entire album so far. So deep in the pocket, he's down there with the lint. This is another playlist. They are eight for eight. There's only one song left. Holy shit, this album is good. I'm so happy right now, I could cry. I, I just... Give me that. Give me that. Uh, give me that. Uh. Oh, I'm shaking. Calm. This is a banging track, bro. Let's go, banging track, banging track. They're eight for eight. Will they go nine for nine? Something tells me they will. Last one, y'all. What is that? That's so interesting. They're sort of walking that along. That one section of instrumental is very experimental feeling with the rest. I can rock with this. I can dig this. Ooh. I can't sing it myself, obviously, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nine for nine. Nine for nine. 
whole album playing this too, bro. That sort of poppy sound effect is so fun. Tanya and Sehu did not have to go that hard. Alrighty, y'all. That is XO Exist, the seventh album. Oh my god, it's an immediate classic. <laughs> I would imagine that the vast majority of XOLs are playlisting, like me, the entire album. Not just because we love and support the guys and we want to be able to stream their songs for them, right? But it's also like, I'm pretty sure everyone is going to like all of them. I don't think these are... Oh, maybe that one's not quite my taste. I feel like all these songs feel like they're so easy to love. Um, if I'm picking a favorite B-side on first listen, I'm gonna give it a two-way tie, okay? I'm just gonna try not to, but it happened to me this way. So I'm gonna give it to Cinderella, because that one, oh my goodness, Cinderella, and I'm gonna say Love Fool. Those are my probably my main two. However, like I said, playlisting all of them um, I could definitely see Private Party becoming a top three on the album for me. I could definitely see Regret It becoming a top three on the album for me. Um, so if I'm giving y'all like a ranking ranking on first listen, Cream Soda number one, like I, it, it kind of a no brainer for me to put the title at the top here just because it's so good. But um, I put Cream Soda and then Cil uh, Cinderella and Love Fool probably right there on that same level as my top three. Um, but man. Y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know how y'all are feeling. If you want to also give me a little tier list, feel free to do that. But if you just want to let me know what your favorite B-side is off rip, that's also fine. Um, I really wouldn't change a single thing about it. I can't, I can't, the thing is, I can't, As I, in good conscience, I can't complain about wanting more music because it's not every day that we get a nine track album from anybody, right? I'm so used to little single albums and mini albums. The fact that we got nine songs in general is just, it, 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 it's a dub. It is a dub. And not even to get into the, the extra things that were happening with the contracts at the time and how we were nervous that things may not end up going the way that we were hoping to, right? And obviously not being able to have Kai in the final music video. Thankfully, we have his vocals on these tracks, right? But it's just, there was a lot of shit that was thrown at us during this comeback and pre-comeback period, you know? So I'm just thankful. I'm just thankful that it's what has happened and the product that they've given us is as phenomenal as it is because along the way there were some there were some there were some 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 bumps right there were <sighs> obviously wish we could have had lay involved as well of course that's that's the the other main thing i didn't want to have to talk about it too much in the video but it's also just the way that life is right now right so it's tough you don't want to bring people down and talk about stuff like that because lay is our boy my boy i love Lay, but it's like you know Considering all things that have gone on, all circumstances that we have surrounding the guys, the company, um, I'm so thankful for what we've got. I think this product is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out of here in the meantime. If you're watching over on YouTube, like I was saying at the beginning, if you want to be one of the patrons one day, if you're considering it, um, I definitely think it's worth it. There's tons and tons and tons of album reviews and thousands of hours of Twitch VOD for you to watch. <laughs> um, but please be aware if you're watching over on YouTube that the patrons did get this uncut and they also got it uh, day of. So I'm recording this on Monday. It's getting posted on Patreon on Monday. Um, so for those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you want to be early next time, feel free to hit me up over on Patreon. I'm done promoting myself. I'm done screaming about this album. I'm going to stop screaming to save my voice and I'm just gonna go stream the album and have a good rest of my day. So thank y'all so much for watching along with me, for listening along with me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me, sharing your excitement with me. Um, God damn, this was fun. Thank y'all. Y'all please have a great rest of your day. I love y'all very, very much. XOLs, I'll be back on the channel soon, hopefully with some more XO related content for you. So until next time, love y'all very much and peace. Goodbye.